Hello everyone, sadly it's me again. Bradley, yesterday I posted an update video about an update, version 23 for the Quest 2, which added 90 hertz, not really for just standalone, but more importantly for me, PC VR. And of course, my headset was not getting the update because it's pretty much a lottery when your update will actually be able to find and actually update itself. It's, it's randomly chosen based on the servers and all this garbage reasons. I, I don't even know why they do it. But people have been actually force updating their quests using a variety of commands with the command prompt using their PC. I am making this video just for those people that really cannot wait for their quest to just decide, hey, I'm gonna get off my button update and, you know, be able to get all the new features that are coming with, especially the Oculus Link, since the standalone 90 hertz features don't really matter anyway because you still have to wait for the games to actually update themselves too. But if you still wanna not wait and get the update, follow this guide completely. Please note, I am not responsible for anything that happens to your quest. You may accidentally screw up the firmware. I don't think you will if you follow this guide completely well. It's a very easy guide. But yeah, I still have to say that anyway. Also, of course, this guide requires a PC, a Windows PC of some sort. It could be a laptop or something. Just, you need to plug it into a PC. All right, well, let's get started. All right, step onto your PC and let's get started. Again, follow this guide at your own risk. I am not responsible if you have to redo all your firmware and all that garbage. First step, make sure developer mode is activated on your Oculus Quest 2. You can find another guide of how to do that on the Oculus Wiki. First thing you wanna do is make sure you have the Oculus ADB drivers. I have included a link in the description where you'll be able to download and install these. The files downloaded of this ADB driver will be zipped, so you will need to extract them. Once you extract those files, you go here to the USB driver, you right click this Android underscore WinUSB, and you will click the install button right here. Once you do that, these should successfully install and you will get a message saying so. You will of course also need to download the actual Quest 2 firmware, version 23. I have included a link for those as well in the description. So just go up here and click this download button and it will download the almost one gigabyte file to your computer. There's one more thing you need to download and I do not have a actual page to show you what it looks like. Just know it is different from the Oculus ADB drivers. It is the ADB itself. I will have that link as the third link in my description as well. So once you click that link, it should automatically download something called Platform Tool. So the ADB folder, once you extract after downloading, it will look like this, Platform Tools. After you navigate to this exact folder, the Platform Tools folder again, you will want to rename your firmware file you downloaded previously to Update. You do not have to unzip this file, but you do have to rename it to Update and drag it into here. So now, while your Quest 2 is in developer mode, and you have it plugged in directly to your PC, you will now click your Windows button, type in these three letters, CMD, right click this, and run as admin. It should look like this. What you'll want to type in now is this following code. CD, and then find whatever folder you have your ADB extracted to, for me it's in my downloads, copy this and click Control V. You can of course type the entire path to your folder, but it's just easier to copy and paste. Once you click that, you'll see that switch from Windows System 32 to Users, Brad, or whatever else your path says here. So again, with your Oculus Quest 2 plugged in and set to developer mode, type in this following words. ADB, reboot, bootloader, enter. Once you do that, I put a picture of what the inside of your Quest should look like after you follow this command. If it looks exactly like this, then you are on the right track and you may continue. If it does not look like this, then probably restart the rest of the steps before this. All right, to continue on your command prompt, you want to type this in. Fastboot OEM reboot dash sideload. 
Once that finishes, you will notice that your Oculus Quest 2 will have a completely black screen, even though it's still lit up. That is a normal and good sign. Finally, what you want to type in is ADB sideload update.zip and then you click enter. You'll see on the command prompt that it will slowly have a progress bar, but not only that, your actual Oculus Quest 2 will also show a system update as pictured here. Just wait for that to finish. Once it finishes, you will notice on the actual command prompt that it says total transfer two times. After this is done, when you check your Quest 2, you will notice a strange new progress bar with a green chip and an arrow. That is normal, and once that finishes, the screen will completely turn black. When the screen turns black after that chip icon loading bar is done, then hold down the power button for 15 to 30 seconds, and that will reboot your Quest completely. Please note, when you reboot your Quest, your controllers will also go through an update, so you won't be able to use them for about maybe two minutes. Once that's done, you'll be able to go over to your settings and about and see that your firmware has successfully updated. So if you're downloading this patch purely so you can use all the PC VR or Oculus Link features, then you will need to make sure that your Oculus Home or Oculus app on your PC is updated. Once it's updated, which you can either opt into the actual beta and then opt out to restart it, You'll be able to go to Devices, click Quest 2, scroll down here to Graphics Preferences, turn off Automatic, Reboot, and then you'll have all these options. You can switch the options based around what you can possibly do, but please note that your options are kind of dependent on your PC's hardware itself. So if you start having unstable gameplay, uh, start loading, lowering all these sliders just to make it, you know, actually work. But after that, that's it. You can play Oculus Link or Oculus Quest or anything else at 90 hertz, and yeah, cool. Well, that wasn't so hard, right? Some people are probably like, oh, that was, that was annoying, that was terrible. Well, that's pretty easy compared to just normal troubleshooting, so if you follow this guide, you're now computer nerd. Welcome, computer nerd. You're just like me. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you found this video useful, let me know in the comments. Like it, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, next video coming out is a weird long video for Half-Life Alex developer commentary. It's been taking hours and hours to render because I record in 4K. And yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Have a fun with your V20 through the...